Hello everyone, it's Sri from Rebel Technology and today I'm going to demonstrate one of our latest products, um, Kronos Mark II. So Kronos Mark II is a dual channel clock generator with tempo synced LFO output. It's all jump packed neatly into 6 HP space and it's a fun little utility module which can do loads of great stuff. So let me quickly explain what each thing does. So the top two knobs, those are the tempo or frequency knob. So you can control the tempo or frequency of your clock. And then those two buttons in the middle, those actually depends on the state of the, the switch right below it. So when the switch is in the middle, it becomes like a one shot trigger. And then when the switch is either up or down, it becomes a tap tempo. So you can set the frequency of your clock with just tapping. So you can tap it faster or you can tap it slower. And uh, it can go really fast or really, really slow. I think the slowest it can go is nearly 60 hours. So if you want the clock only happens every 60 hours, then by all means, go for it. So we're moving on. So the first row of the sockets are your clock or trigger output. And then the second is the trigger or clock input for your time synced LFO. And then finally, the bottom one is your LFO out. And uh, please note that each channel has a different types of LFO. So the left channel that comes with when the switch is on the up, um, it spits out the bipolar um, sine wave. And then when it's on the bottom, it spits out the... Um, bipolar triangle and then on the second channel which is on your right that's your unipolar lfo out and when it's on up that is the ramp up and then when it's on the down that is ramp down okay so let me just turn this off and uh let me um do a little bit of patching and show you what it actually does so first of all, I've loaded the Addy Voice on OWL, which is your additive synth voice, which has got VCA and filter. So we're gonna modulate some of those to see how it sounds. So first of all, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take the clock or trigger out of channel one, and then I'm gonna feed that into our Gonyes, which is the function generator. And then from function generator, it goes into the VCA and then let's hear it. so I can trigger so it works as a gate or you can switch to the Or you can switch the Gonyas to the trigger mode and then it works like a trigger. So that goes the same with the LFO output. So you can basically, instead of doing this, you can go direct out from your LFO. Then go into the VCA and do the same. And when it's on the trigger mode, the interesting attribute is um, your tempo knob becomes your kind of length control. So when it's on the anti-clockwise, it gives a longer waveform. And then when it's on the clockwise, it gives a shorter waveform. Or you can also put it in the normal clock mode. And when it's in the normal clock mode, you can tap tempo. So um, so you can always update the tempo by tapping it. So you can, for example, make the clock faster and then thinking, oh yeah, that's too fast. You can tap it again and it goes slower. And then when you're thinking, 
when you slow it down, oh no, that's too slow, you can again tap back in and then update the tempo. Um, the way it works is it's always so when it's in the middle and you set the tempo, uh, when you turn it completely anti clockwise, it becomes half of the original, and then when you put it on a clockwise, it becomes double the tempo of the original. So, yeah, you basically have a range of like four times this. So, from slowest to the fastest, the tempo difference is always four times. So, these are kind of uh, more sort of straightforward usage of Kronos. But the interesting thing happens when you actually feed the, the clock output into the, the trigger input, which actually syncs the LFO. So, what's going to happen is so, so let me show you. So, I'm going to take another output from the LFO out and then put it into the pitch scaling of the ID voice. And um, so I'm just going to start the clock here on the channel one. And now you can hear the sine wave is modulating the VCA. And it's not doing anything to the pitch yet because you haven't, we haven't done anything to the channel two. So when I turn this on, because it's, these two are the independent um, clocks, so the tempo of each channel is independent. So what's going to happen is when I input, so when I take the clock out from channel one and then put it into the trigger input, and you can hear as soon as you've done that, um, the both LFOs start to sync. And then now the knob one becomes a master tempo for both. Another interesting feature here is then when you, you remember when switch to the trigger mode, the knob becomes the knob controls the actual length of the LFO. So what happens now is the second channel's LFO is always triggered by the first channel's clock out. However, you can actually control the length of the second LFO independently. So you can quickly change the, the way the modulation is sounding. So yeah, that's the main gist of Kronos Mark II, and I hope that was informative. If you have any further questions, please feel free to comment or drop us an email. And also, if you like the video, please don't forget to hit the like button. And if you haven't subscribed to our channel yet, please hit subscribe because we will be doing more demo videos and tutorials. So till next time, be wiggling. See you later. Bye.